Welcome, my stoic viewer. Are you a solitary queen or lonely outcast? Well, by the end of this video, you are going to find out. So let's dive into this fascinating concept. Sigma females are unique creatures in the social sphere. Perhaps like others, you also find solitude comforting, to be free from the noise, the hustle and the bustle, and come home to peace and quiet, to relax, unwind and just be free from the drama. I want you to think about the last time you felt comfortable being on your own. Was it yesterday, the day before, last month, last year, or so far back you can't remember? Sigma females find that being alone can be comforting, while others too frightened to live a day on their own would find being on their own lonely. Give them a week on their own, they would probably feel like an outcast. Sigma women forge their own paths, set their own standards, and live life on their own terms. They like to be different, they don't do well in crowded places, they stay clear of being in the spotlight, and they certainly want their own space. When they come home, they are fiercely independent, often preferring their own company and the serene quiet of solitude over the hustle and bustle of social gatherings. I bet you've turned down a few requests just so you can avoid the hustle and bustle of networking. You know I'm right. Some people may find you turning down their offer as a rejection or that you don't want to be around them. While in some cases this might be true, mostly it's because of your shyness. Then a sense of feeling trapped overwhelms you to the point you either drink yourself senseless to go and have fun or you run and hide under the duvet. These characteristics often lead to them being misunderstood, painted as loners or outsiders. However, don't be mistaken. Sigma females are not lonely. They are life observers. You need to give them at least six months notice, then explain how fun it's going to be that you won't leave their side, and only then they may say yes. Sigma females are simply comfortable in their own skin, content with their own company, and not driven by external validation. Therefore, to a true Sigma female, going out, meeting strangers and networking is one of their worst nightmares. They will do it if they have to, but don't expect them to hang around for too long. So, what do you think? Could you be a Sigma female? Welcome to Eternal Stoicism, where I help you to explore profound concepts and ideas. I've dedicated my channel to unearthing the wisdom of the ancient Stoics and how their teachings can help us in our personal development journey. Today, we will delve deep into the understanding of self, the practice of virtue, and the pursuit of tranquility. So stick around till the end, as I have a thought-provoking question that only a true Sigma female can answer. Stay with me throughout, and find out if you're a true Sigma female. Now let me pose this question to you. Have you ever heard the term Sigma female? Is it good to be a Sigma female? Well, let's dive into the wonderful aspects of being a Sigma female and see why it can indeed be a wonderful experience. Firstly, Sigma females are often admired for their independence. They are self-sufficient individuals who do not depend on others to define their worth or happiness. They carve their own paths and make their own decisions, not needing the approval or validation of others. This independence gives them a sense of freedom and self-empowerment that is truly liberating. Next, Sigma females are known for their self-reliance. They are confident in their abilities and trust their own judgment. This self-reliance allows them to handle life's challenges with resilience and grit. They don't easily crumble under pressure or adversity. Instead, they rise to the occasion, turning obstacles into stepping stones. Another positive aspect of being a Sigma female is the ability to enjoy solitude. Unlike those who constantly seek company or validation, Sigma females find comfort and joy in their own company. They cherish their alone time as it provides them with space to reflect, rejuvenate and engage in self-discovery. Solitude for them is not loneliness, but a state of peaceful self-contentment. Furthermore, Sigma females are often free thinkers. 
They are not easily swayed by societal pressures or norms. They think outside the box, question the status quo, and are not afraid to challenge conventional wisdom. This intellectual autonomy allows them to see the world from different perspectives, fostering creativity, innovation, and personal growth. Lastly, Sigma females are often seen as mysterious and intriguing. Their reserved nature and independent spirit often draw people towards them, wanting to understand their unique worldview and approach to life. So when we look at these attributes, independent self-reliance, the ability to enjoy solitude, free thinking, and the intrigue aura they exude, it's hard not to agree that being a Sigma female can be pretty awesome, don't you think? But it's not all roses. Sigma females face some challenges too, just like every other archetype. Sigma females have their own set of hurdles to overcome. One of the most common challenges they might face is the feeling of being misunderstood. In a society that often values extroversion, Sigma females, with their introverted nature, can feel a bit like a puzzle piece that doesn't quite fit. They're independent, self-reliant, and don't crave social interaction like others might. This can sometimes lead to misconceptions about them, making them feel misunderstood or even isolated. Then there's the difficulty in social situations. Don't get me wrong, Sigma females can navigate social situations just fine, if they want to. But because they value their solitude and prefer meaningful interactions over small talk, they can sometimes find themselves feeling out of place in large social gatherings or events. The noise, the chatter, the superficial conversations. It can all be a bit too much for a Sigma female who prefers depth and authenticity. And let's not forget about the struggle to conform to societal expectations. We live in a world that often equates success with extroversion with being the life of the party, with having a large circle of friends. Sigma females, on the other hand, are content with their close-knit circle and their quiet confidence. But this can sometimes put them at odds with societal expectations, leading to a struggle between staying true to themselves and fitting into societal norms. Yes, being a Sigma female can be challenging. It can be a journey filled with misconceptions, awkward social situations, and a constant tug of war with societal expectations. But remember, every cloud has a silver lining. These challenges also offer opportunities for growth, for self-discovery, and for forging a path that's uniquely their own. After all, it's through navigating these challenges that Sigma females continue to embrace their individuality, their independence, and their strength. It's clear that being a Sigma female comes with its own set of challenges. But remember, every cloud has a silver lining. So, after all that, do you think being a Sigma female is for you? Consider this for a moment. You've heard about the independence, self-sufficiency, and non-conformity that define a Sigma female. You've also heard about the challenges, the solitude, and the need to continually swim against the tide. Does this resonate with you? It's not about adopting a label, but rather understanding yourself better. Are you the kind who thrives in your own space, relishing solitude and personal growth over company and chatter? Or do you find energy in the buzz of a crowd, the exchange of ideas, and the warmth of shared experiences? Being a Sigma female is about accepting yourself as you are in all your solitary, introspective glory. It's about embracing your unique qualities, your strengths, your quirks, and even your flaws. It's about not fitting into the typical societal boxes and being perfectly fine with it. Remember, every personality type has its strengths and challenges. There's no one size fits all. There's no better or worse. It's about what works for you, what makes you feel fulfilled, what aligns with your values and aspirations. So, as you ponder over this, remember, it's not a journey of becoming, but rather a journey of realizing and embracing who you already are. 
Your path is uniquely yours, just as you are uniquely you. Only you can decide if the Sigma female path is the one for you. Thank you for joining me on this journey into the world of Sigma females. We've explored the highs and lows, the benefits and challenges, and what it truly means to identify as a Sigma female. If this resonates with you or you know someone who marches to the beat of their own drum, we'd love to have you as part of our community here at Eternal Stoicism. So, like this video, subscribe to my channel, and share this video with someone you believe might be a Sigma female. By doing so, you're helping us create a space for understanding and acceptance, where we can delve into deep topics like this one. Now, before you go, we have a question we'd like to leave you with. If you are a true Sigma female, why do you enjoy solitude? I can't wait to read your response and learn more about your unique perspectives. Leave your answer in the comments box. Your insights are valuable to us and contribute to the rich tapestry of understanding that we are building together. So take a moment to reflect and share your thoughts with us. Whether you resonate deeply with the traits of a Sigma female or simply find aspects of it intriguing, remember that embracing your true self is a journey worth undertaking. It's about honoring your individuality, celebrating your strengths, and navigating the challenges with grace and resilience. So, my stoic viewer, as you ponder the intricacies of being a Sigma female, remember that the path to self-discovery is one of continual exploration and growth. Embrace the solitude, cherish your independence, and stay true to your authentic self. Thank you for joining me on this insightful journey. Until next time, stay introspective, stay empowered, and stay true to the unique essence that makes you who you are. This is Motivation Today. Thanks for watching, and stay blessed.